Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer, and today we are up to the Nine of Diamonds person, the Universal Values, the Giver card. You are a Nine of Diamonds if you were born on January 18th, February 16th, March 14th, April 12th, May 10th, June 8th, July 6th, August 4th, and September 2nd. Your Karma Cards. The Queen of Diamonds and the Five of Diamonds. Your Karma Cousins, the Three of Diamonds and the Three of Spades. Past Life Cards are the Eight of Diamonds and the Ten of Diamonds. People who are a Nine of Diamonds are here to let go and complete a major chapter in the evolution of their soul personality. This entails a lot of giving to others and the willingness to release both people and material things from their life when time comes. If they have not heeded the call to give and let go of others, money, relationships, and love, their life can be filled with disappointment and remorse. Those on the positive side are philanthropic. You know I can't say that word. We've been down this road before. You get it. A philanthropist. That, that, well, that was better. All right. Generous, happy, and productive. All have the opportunity to experience firsthand the heightened consciousness that comes with living a universal life. Despite loss from time to time, these people can do very well in business, especially when it involves selling or other creative enterprises. They're great at promoting things they believe in. They're great talkers and communicators. Many become counselors, if not professionally, then at least with their friends and family. If they keep their values in proper perspective, they may even attain affluence. A disregard for the higher laws we must give in order to receive will inevitably result in misfortune and misery. They should be careful while driving and when taking any kind of risks. They can be reckless or accident prone on the road. They also have great minds and many are attracted to professional work that allows them to use their intellectual abilities. Many become successful attorneys or excel in any of the communication fields due to the powerful king of clubs in their Mars position. This card also gives them more success than most other birth cards when it comes to legal matters and dis disputes. The nine of diamonds also is unusually gifted when it comes to doing sales and promotional work. They can make more money doing sales than doing almost anything else, though most of them choose a line of work intellectually stimulating to them. One of the challenges of the Nine of Diamonds is to develop and use their charm and power to do great work. Many of them are destined to make great co contrib contributions to the world, often by leading others to a higher form of knowledge and understanding. The Nine of Diamonds like to have someone to talk to and prefer relationships with those who are witty and smart. Most of them have at least one challenging mar marriage of a karmic nature and there are usually responsibilities associated with family, spouses, and children. Marriage is usually karmic or destined and often long lasting. They tend to have traditional values about marriage and are very giving people. They are typically easy to get along with. The Nine of Diamonds usually sees marriage as a job entailing many responsibilities and their families are often a major source of the work they do in this lifetime. The female Nine of Diamonds are often attracted to club males which can make good marriage partners or business partners. Spade women love the Nine of Diamonds men, but the Diamond women find them very challenging. The female Nine of Diamonds does well with other Diamond men. The male Nine of Diamonds should always be aware of the female club cards, except for the Jack of Clubs, who might be a good marriage partner. Both sexes should be careful around anyone possessing a Queen of Diamonds birth date their first car or their first karma card. They often have unexpected and unusually challenging karmic debts with these people. All right, here is your spread. The moon is the jack of clubs, Mercury the seven of spades, Venus is the two of clubs, Mars is the king of clubs, Jupiter is the jack of diamonds, Saturn is the four of hearts, Uranus is the four of diamonds, Neptune is the two of spades, Pluto is the eight of hearts, your karmic result or your reward is the six of clubs, and your karmic lesson is the six of spades. So of all these dates, my grandmother was born on September 2nd, so she's the only nine of diamonds that I know. I can tell you that she was very creative, 
She was great at a lot of things. I mean, she could make anything. She really could make anything. But she wasn't in sales. When it comes to legal matters, okay, she did work for the, I think she went back to school like very late in life and became a paralegal. So maybe that might hold true. My grandmother was always learning. She loved to learn. So, and she was married for a very long time. And I believe that my grandfather was an eight of clubs person. All right, so her karmic reward is the six of clubs person. I'll give you those dates. Six of clubs, March 30th, April 28th, May 26th, June 24th, July 22nd, August 20th, September 18th, October 16th, November 14th, and December 12th. That's your karmic reward. Now, your karmic lesson is the six of spades person. Those people are born on January 8th, February 6th, March 4th, and April 2nd. If you are a nine of diamonds, comment below, or if you're involved with someone who is, and let me know if this sounds like that person. If you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.